Good morning and welcome to Seaside Sermons. Today I'd like to look at another part of the First Steps in Christ series with Bert Allen. Then we're going to look at the concept of Christ living in me. If you turn in your Bibles, go with me to chapter 2 of Galatians and verse 20. That's Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 on page 1821 of the Study Bible. We're going to learn what it means to have Christ live in me today. You know, I love this verse. It fills me with joy and happiness every time I read it. It says, I have been crucified with Christ and it's no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Let's take that in different parts. The first thing he says in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20 says that I have been crucified with Christ. Remember as a believer in Christ, there was a day in your life where you came to Christ and said, I believe that you died for me. I believe that you went to that cross and shed your blood because I'm a sinner and you died in my place. You paid the death penalty for me. And by faith, I accept that gift. I believe you died for me. I received that as a free gift. I believe that you're now coming into my life and that you will live with me forever because you've been resurrected and you are God and always have been. But he says here in Galatians 2.20, because we are already believers, when we look back at the cross of Jesus Christ, we identify ourselves with that cross and say, I have been crucified with Christ. Think about the implications of that for a minute. If I've been crucified with Christ, then I'm going to lay everything in my old life behind. My old person died on that cross. I'm now someone else that's brand new. He says, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Think about how cool this really is. He says, the moment you came to Christ, you were crucified with Christ, and it's not even you who live anymore, but Christ lives in me. Christ lives in me because the old me was crucified with Christ. And it's not, how did he put it? It is no longer I who live. You want to have a new life? You tired of the old way you've been living? You tired of all the bad habits, the addictions, the broken relationships, the fighting, the anger, the hostility? Remember all that junk in your life? God says all that's gone. It's been crucified with Christ to the cross. He looks at us and says, and Bert, it's not even you who live, it's Christ who lives in you. I want you to think even more carefully about this other promise he just made to me. Not only was I crucified with Christ, but Christ now comes and lives inside of me all day, every day. Imagine you were to start today and seriously thought about that, that today I'm going to live like I was crucified with Christ and Christ now lives inside of me. The old me is gone, Christ has taken up residence in my life, and by faith in Jesus Christ, Jesus is going to live in me all day long. He's going to talk through me, he's going to act through me. I'm going to be controlled by the Spirit of Jesus Christ today. That's what he's telling you. He says, Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh. Well, Bert, you said that Christ comes and lives with me, but I look at my hands and my body and I'm flesh, man. Yeah, he's talking spiritually. Christ is spiritually going to come and live in the fleshly body that you were born with. He says, though you still have a body, the spirit inside of you is now Jesus Christ. He came into your life spiritually. Remember that Jesus is God. God became flesh and dwelt among us. God says that he is spirit. And those who want to worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That God looks at us and says, spiritually, the spirit of Jesus Christ came into your life and has taken up permanent residence in your life as of the moment you became a believer by faith that he died for you and was resurrected. At that moment, you were crucified with him. He came into your life spiritually. And now the life you live, you live by the power of of the Spirit of God living inside of you. I live that life by faith in the Son of God. Bert, 
I don't feel the Spirit of God inside of me. I had an x-ray done and I didn't see any Jesus. Well, no, you aren't going to see Jesus. He's not going to appear on an MRI, a CAT scan, or any other test like that. He's not talking physical. He's talking spiritually. Christ came to live in your life at the moment of salvation. But you live your life by faith. Faith in what? What am I supposed to believe? I'm supposed to believe that Christ lives inside of me. Well, why would I believe that? Because Galatians 2.20 told you that. You know, I often emphasize to my friends that imagine that Jesus was standing right in front of you and he's reading Galatians 2.20 to you or he's just saying it because he moved Paul by the Holy Spirit to write Galatians 2.20. Imagine that Christ is looking at you and saying, you know that life you now live? Well, you should realize that I live in you and you should live that life by faith in the Son of God. By faith. I have to believe what Jesus told me is true. I have to actually put that, put that into practice by faith in my life every day. He says, I want you to believe that, to act on that, and to go with that by faith. Faith. My trust. My hope. That I'm going to be assured of things not seen. That I'm going to live with that blessed assurance that what God told me is true. That His Word is something I can bank on every day of my life and then for all eternity. Rest in the Word of God. Believe it's true. That by faith the Son of God lives inside of me. But you know, when Jesus comes into your life, He does something else. Jesus is all about love. And He looks at us and says that Jesus Christ loved me when Jesus lives in you, you're going to feel the love of Jesus Christ pouring out of your life. You're going to be interested in other people and how you can see other people grow up in Christ. You're going to look at unbelievers and say, how can I share my faith with them? I want them to avoid an eternity with fear and gnashing and pain and all the bad things that are going on in an eternity separated from Christ. Nobody wants to see that. God says, I want to put you on earth, Bert. I want to put you on earth so that my love will fill you, so that Jesus will live inside of you. And you will carry out the mission of Jesus Christ. He said, just as the Father sent him, I send you. There's a person inside of you named Jesus. He lives inside of you spiritually, but he has the same mission that says, I came to seek and to save the lost, to encourage believers to grow up to the full measure of Christ. He says here that the love of God caused Christ to come into my life, that God loved me. He loves me all day, every day of my life. When you really focus in by faith upon Christ living in you, you will not only feel the love of God, but the love of God will move you and push you and drag you and cause you to rejoice in your heart that you're running after Christ. You're following him where he goes. You look at people around you and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I love you with all the love he loved me. But he finally says, and gave himself up for me. You see, if we look at other people and say, I know God loves you, but I'm not going to lift a finger to help you. That that wasn't what Jesus did. Jesus said, I'm going to give myself up for you, Bert. I'm going to die in your place. I'm going to make the ultimate sacrifice. I'm going to give my life, push out my blood, pour it out on your sins, and they'll be covered forever. Your death would accomplish nothing. My death accomplishes everything. You'll be saved from all your sins and the penalty of death. You'll be renewed in Christ. You'll have the love of God in your heart because Jesus has come to take up residence in your life forever. So he looks at us and says, I've been crucified with Christ. And it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. What a great promise. May we live in Christ today, and may he live through us. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening to another presentation of Seaside Sermons. We trust that you've been blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ as you've read and studied his word. If you'd like to contact Bert, you may contact him by email at bert at seasidesermons.com or give him a telephone call at 
508-7540. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.